GitHub is one of the most essential platforms for developers and programmers worldwide. It serves as a powerful tool for hosting code, collaborating on projects, and sharing software with others. However, despite its openness and accessibility, GitHub does enforce certain rules and policies to maintain a safe, productive environment. As a result, GitHub accounts can be suspended for violating these rules, which can lead to frustration and loss of access to important repositories. But why exactly does GitHub suspend accounts? This video AI about the most common reasons why a GitHub account might get suspended, the immediate consequences, and how you can avoid such a situation. Before explaining the reasons which cause a GitHub account to BW suspended, let us check what happens when your GitHub account is suspended. When a GitHub account is suspended, the user loses access to their repositories, contributions, and collaborative projects. Public repositories are often still visible, but the user can't make updates, pull requests, or even log in to manage their projects. Collaborative teams may also be affected, as team members lose one of their contributors. If your account is suspended, GitHub usually sends a notification explaining the reason behind the suspension. Immediate consequences include limited or no access to code, blocked use of GitHub's features, and potential disruption to any ongoing projects. Common reasons for GitHub account suspension. Account suspensions on GitHub are relatively rare, but they can happen for a variety of reasons. The following are the most common causes. One, violation of GitHub's terms of service. GitHub has a robust set of terms of service that users are required to adhere to when creating an account. These terms cover a broad spectrum of behaviors and practices, from how you interact with others on the platform to the type of content you can share. Violating these terms, whether knowingly or unknowingly, can result in account suspension. Some common terms of service violations include sharing offensive or inappropriate content, participating in harmful activities that disrupt GitHub services, engaging in illegal activities. Two, intellectual property infringement. GitHub takes intellectual property, IP rights very seriously. If you're using someone else's code, logos, or content without permission, you could be infringing on their intellectual property rights. In many cases, this could lead to a DMCA takedown notice being filed against your project or account. If you repeatedly violate IP laws, GitHub may suspend your account altogether. It's crucial to understand the legality surrounding the use of open source software and the boundaries of fair use to avoid these issues. Three, using GitHub for malicious purposes. GitHub is intended to be a platform for constructive collaboration and development. However, using it for malicious activities like spreading malware, viruses, or participating in hacking attempts will almost certainly lead to an immediate suspension. Some malicious activities that can lead to suspension include hosting phishing or spam websites, using repositories for denial of service DOS attacks, distributing malware or ransomware. GitHub prioritizes the safety of its users and the tech ecosystem at large, so such activities are not tolerated. 4. Spamming or abusive behavior. Using GitHub as a platform for spamming or participating in abusive behavior is another common reason for account suspension. This includes sending unsolicited pull requests or messages, creating bots to spam other users, or engaging in harassment and abusive behavior in discussions. GitHub's community guidelines encourage positive and constructive communication. Accounts that exhibit toxic behavior, create disruptive comments, or intentionally provoke conflicts can be suspended. 5. Fraudulent activity and misrepresentation. Any form of fraudulent activity, such as providing false information during account setup, impersonating another individual, or misrepresenting your identity, is a violation of GitHub's rules. Fraud not only harms the community, but can also undermine trust within projects and teams. 6. Violating export laws. GitHub operates under certain export restrictions that prohibit users from specific countries or regions from accessing its services. These restrictions are in place to comply with international laws and U.S. export control regulations. Violating these laws by attempting to access GitHub from restricted regions can lead to an account suspension. Some of the countries affected by export regulations include 
Iran, North Korea, Crimea region. GitHub is required to enforce these restrictions, and non-compliance can result in account termination. How to avoid getting your GitHub account suspended? To avoid suspension, it's important to follow some basic rules. 1. Read and understand GitHub's terms of service. Know the platform's policies and ensure you're complying. 2. Be mindful of intellectual property. Always give credit where it's due and follow legal guidelines when using open source content. 3. Avoid engaging in suspicious activity. Don't use GitHub for activities that could be considered harmful, fraudulent, or malicious. 4. Maintain a positive presence. Engage with other developers constructively and avoid spamming or harassing behavior. By following these practices, you can ensure that your GitHub account stays in good standing. How to appeal a suspended GitHub account. If your GitHub account is suspended, you have the option to appeal. GitHub typically provides a link or contact information in the suspension notice where you can submit your case. When appealing, ensure you explain the situation clearly, provide any relevant evidence that could support your case. Be polite and professional. Remember, an appeal doesn't guarantee reinstatement, but if the suspension was made in error, GitHub may restore your account. Reinstating your GitHub account after suspension. Once your account is reinstated, it may take time for your repositories and collaborative access to be fully restored. Keep in mind that some data may be affected, so it's always a good idea to back up your work regularly. Impact of suspension on collaborative projects. If you're part of a collaborative project and your account gets suspended, it can create a temporary gap for your team. It's important to inform your collaborators and find alternative ways to continue contributing to the project, such as creating a new account or delegating your tasks. The importance of regular compliance audits. Performing regular compliance audits can help you stay on the right side of GitHub's rules. Use tools to track open source licenses, monitor for suspicious activity, and keep your account secure. Therefore, account suspensions on GitHub can be frustrating and disruptive, especially for developers deeply involved in their projects. However, by understanding and following GitHub's policies, you can avoid potential issues. It's crucial to maintain a responsible and professional presence on the platform, whether you're contributing code, collaborating with others, or just storing your work.